Welcome to Bob's Vape Reviews. All items in this review were bought by me for the purpose of doing this said review. And welcome, guys. I am. I apologize for the time between the videos. I had a medical emergency. Um, I'm still in recovery. I just got out of the hospital recently, so I'm still recovering. I'm alive. I'm okay. Everything's okay. We're going to get back to work. I'm going to start off this first video now that I'm back. It's with an MBM mod. Uh, this maker has been out for a while, since 2013. He is the person behind a lot of the mods that you all know out there, but Philippines is a small, it's it's a huge city. Don't get me wrong, there's le over 11 million people, but it's really technically, it has that small to town feeling to it. So everybody knows each other and blah, 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 and you, you've got that Biggie Tupac thing going on here. Um, east coast west coast thing north south east west type shit going on here uh, this gentleman's been making mods for like i said since 2013 he started out with tube mods then he went into making uh box mods and hence the name mbm which is manong box mods and i apologize if i just butchered the pronunciation of that word i apologize to all the filipinos out there I apologize greatly. This is one of his newest creations. It's budget mind minded, so it could include everybody in the purchase of this mod. And it comes in this nice case. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Open it up. What do we have? Oh, we got a bag. Now, this review is going to be a user review and of a new mod that just came out. I, because this is a 3D printed mod, I wanted to use it for a little while before I made a review on it. So I can honestly tell people the ups, downs, in, outs of this particular mod. And here we have MBM Signature Mods. Nice engraved on the side. We have the name of the mod, Limbag. Engraved on the firing button. And look at that! Boss Rob! It's Boss. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. This mod is available to anyone that wants to order it. You could have it personalized, have anything etched in on there that you would like. Now, like I said, this is a 3D printed body. It's 3D printed with brass, beautiful brass top and bottom. And it is a hybrid. So this is not for you beginners. This is something for guys who've been doing this for a little while so you know what you're doing. And this is not the battery cap that came with it. Let me... Take that away. What you get is a 21700 mod, but you also have in this bag, yep, you have a sleeve and a spacer so you could take your 18650. And the battery that came with it is right here. This is the battery that came with it. Now, I I am not a big fan of this type. I really am not a big fan of this type of battery cap because whenever I'm out needing to change my bat, I never have the screwdriver around me or a coin on me to do this. And I really hate using anything other than the proper tools. Being brass, I use anything metal, it's going to muck it up. And I don't want to do that. So, since I have a lot of 21700 mods made here in the Philippines, and these guys are all connected, I took the one off my DJK and it fit perfectly and i like finger twists especially in the 21700 size because my fat american fingers fit on here perfectly so no issues so once again back to my we see we have beautifully brass top and bottom okay another tip you could use your ceramic tweezers only your ceramic tweezers to stick in these little holes here and unscrew this top if it becomes stuck or if you can't get it off with your fingers now these ceramic tweezers, I broke one tip off, so I went and broke the other tip off, so it's even. But so right now they will not go in these holes; they're too big. I think I could just barely get them to start. Uh, just barely. They're 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 too it's they're too small. I'm gonna use my hands like this. And the threading is so nice that you can do this. Okay. Beautiful threading. There's a, the 510 piece right here. It's a hybrid, like I said. So always put your atomizer on here.
first. Put it on the 510 deck first, and then screw it onto the body, and then add your battery. And make sure you have a 510 with a protruding 510 pin. You don't want to be using one that had, does not have the protruding 510 pin. And because I'm trying to use my hands, and of course we're on camera, this does not want to cooperate with me right this second. Anyways, there we go. She's screwing in. And let me put this, I'm going to put the original, bat, the original one on because I want to take weights and measurements. So I want everything to be like you would get it. So, let's try screwing this on. I'm off camera right now because I need a second to screw this in. Like so. That's why I don't like this battery cap. I just used the Altum washer. So another thing I like to use are these Altum spacers between the Addy, the deck, and the Addy. I love to use these so they don't scratch up or muck up your 510 deck. and also provides a little bit of space so the heat. But enough of that, enough of that. You also in the bag, <clears throat> in the little pouch, you're going to get some MBM stickers. Oh, 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 I love stickies. These act as your COA, so don't throw these out. Oh, I had it upside down. I apologize. Don't throw these out, you guys. These are your COA. And we Americans are cuckoo for COAs. I am, at least. I know I am. Let me put this back. This is the spacer, the copper spacer. He uses nothing but copper contacts on the mod and on the spacer here. Here's your sleeve for the 18650. Let me put it all in the bag so we don't muck it, lose it. I have a thing. Remember, keep this stuff, you guys. Don't throw this stuff out. And don't put it someplace where you're never going to find it until the day that you move out of your house. Keep this stuff handy. All right. Let's get this show going here. Get some weight on this. And I tell you, this is really a very, very light and handy mod. Now, without the battery, she's coming in at 81.6 grams. That's 81.6 grams. She doesn't weigh anything, really. Let me take this away. It has great hand feel to it. it, it, it it's it's a 3D printed body, like I said. The material type is PET G nylon, heat resistant. There's two set screws in here that hold the brass in, and these set screws are M3 set screws. Now make sure you guys use the right tools for the jobs that you're doing. To so take the firing, just the Phillips. Unscrew it. Comes right off. Bam. And then you got your brass top to brass bottom, and what the firing pin does, because it's made out of copper, when you touch it, it provide, completes the circuit. So it fires. So it's and it's very easy maintenance this mod. But just be careful and take your time putting the screws back together. The machining is good. Everything is nicely done. Now these set screws up here, I'm not going to take them out right now to to remove these sleeves because it's a little bit of a bugger to be doing it on camera and putting it back together. And I want you to see what's going on totally. But when you take these out, there's a set screw hole that they screw into. The threading's not in the in the body but the threading is in the metal part of the tube and you want to get that in there and it takes a little bit of practice and time take your time to push this part in so that it lines up with the hole it'll take you maybe one or two times to do it or you might get it on the first try but me I tried it just about 20 minutes before I made this video and it was a little bit of a bugger and it took me too much time to do it live on camera but it was done easily and here's a little tip when you're taking these screws out, these sleeves are tight. Use your screwdriver or use something soft at the top, and you can put it in the hole, and you can just bep, 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 and the, and the sleeve will pop right out. Why do you want to do that? For maintenance. You want to make sure you keep this thing clean so it fires constantly, so you have no issues of misfiring or nothing like that at all. By doing proper maintenance to your mod, you will never have any issues with them, okay? So let's take a couple measurements on it. Let me get my mics out. Give me a second, you guys. Mic's out. Let's see if we still got battery. It's been a long time since I've had these and used them to do a video, you guys. All right. 
Let's try out a measurement. Let me screw this battery in a little bit more because it's not level. There we go. We are coming in at 567 millimeters tall. A width of 30. So you can fit a 28 millimeter Addy on here with no problem. Go the other way. 36. Good size mod. Fits perfectly in your hand. Now for this uh, video, I'm gonna be using a 22 millimeter Addy, Addy uh, made by Vertex. I've been using it, it's a single coil Addy, and, and I go by the rule of one battery, one coil. Uh, I know not everybody goes along with that, and not everybody believes in that, but that's what I believe in, so I don't stress my batteries and I don't stress my mod. Now I've used this for two weeks straight, chain vaping, and I mean chain vaping. When I wake up in the morning, this is in my hand. When I go to bed at night, this is in my hand. And all day long, it's in my hand. And I've tried, and I've tried, and I've got this sucker hot. And I've had no issues. No issues whatsoever with it firing. No issues with it at all getting hot. It's got beautiful texture on it, so it stays nice grippy in your hand. It's very small, and it looks really sweet. Now, I'm going to take this battery off, this battery cap off, and I'm going to put my battery cap on. First, I'm going to take my 510 deck off. The, man, the, the threading is buttery soft. Now, prices. Let me. You guys are not going to believe the prices. Locally, this is anywhere from 1.5 to 1.8. If you're outside of the Philippines, 1.5 to 1.8 for an 18.650 version. For the 21.700 version, it's going to be 1.7 to 2K. Outside of the Philippines, this is $60. $60. Can you believe that? Where are you going to get a mod made in the Philippines by one of the best makers in the world for $60? And it works. And it wasn't made in that other country that we know, I don't want to say about, but you know, it was made in the Philippines in a small batch. You guys have to remember. They don't have machine shops like we have in the States or in the UK or in Germany. This place only has like two or three machine shops and all the makers use that shop. So don't think that all this stuff is just, they have factories all over the Philippines making this stuff. They don't. They don't. This is hard work. They put their love, all their money, all their time into making these products for you guys. And then someone comes from another company, another country, and sees the idea and goes home and makes 20000 in one day. That's a problem. All right? I'm not going to get into that. That's politics, and that's enough of that. Back to the mod. So anyways, I'm going to use my Vertec Mini low profile. I have a single coil in it, 24 gauge. I'm going to put my Altum disc on first, and then I'm going to put my 510 disc on. You don't need to tighten, tighten. You don't want to crank this down because remember, you want to be able to remove this later, at a later time. I go to my mod. I make sure I got the top. <laughs> and I put my 510 disc in. Like so. Tighten it down. Nice. Put my battery in. Using the AWT. And I'm using my battery cap. Oh, gotta love it. The machine work here is so nice, buttery soft. Look at that. No delay, instant hit. Let me take a hit. Bob, what juice are you using? Oh, why you ask? I'm using my banana cream pie. Cholo's blend, Cholo. Nice, very good. Delicious masara. Very good juice, you guys. Being a 3D printed body, some people have doubts. And I'm telling you right now, ha have no worries. I've been using this every day with no issues. The maker, Boss Dave, 
and his beautiful wife Hazel. I love that name, Hazel. Uh, the two of them are like uh, spick and spack, man. They're they're together. It's it's so nice. That's what the Philippines is about. How close they are and how tight they are, and they have each other's backs. It's like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. They the two of them are a power couple. Very good, loving couple. Just like DPM, Kuya Dodge, and his wife, Sophia. Very close. That's what the Philippines is all about, man. It's That's why I'm here. That's why I came here and why I've been here over 20 years. You can't, you can't put down the love from a Filipina. Well, anyways, the two of them, very easy to get hold of them. MBM, Box Mods, Facebook, Dave and Hazel. You can't go wrong. You really can't. You want someone who wants a really good mod and is on a budget, here you go. This is it. Now, I have not tried it with a booster. And I don't know if I would try it with a booster. I'd have to try it out first to make sure that it'll hold up to that kind of heat. But I don't see no need for a booster. I like my single coil. This is a perfect little handy vape to have when you're going out, especially here in the Philippines because it's still not legal to be vaping outside. So you have to be careful, okay? All right. Con. Battery cap. I don't like the battery cap. But that's personal preference, okay? I went with the finger one on here, and it's perfect now. Venting. I'd like to see some kind of venting somewhere on this. I know with my battery cap now, we have venting. Other thing that bugged the shit excuse me, that bugged the hell out of me, is this, there's an edge right here. I don't know if you could see it. Let me see if I can get it in the camera. There is an edge. From being on the printing stand like this, there is a little edge right here that bugs the snot out of me. So, so what I have is a file kit. So I can take one of the, not that one, I would take a square file. I can't find a square file. Where's the square one? There it is. I would use this square file and knock this corner off like I just did. You see that? Bam, 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 bam. Go all the way around and knock that corner off. Knock that edge off. I hate that edge, especially here on the front. There is an edge. Look at that. Now there's no more edge for my finger to cut catch on. I love it. Nice. That's only that's those are my only three cons I could find on this. Now don't forget, when you need to use maintain this thing and you want to take it apart, especially like the battery cap and the 510 cap and the threading, and you gotta clean this for maintenance, grab yourself a brass brush. Now, if you're in America, you can pick them up at Home Depot or Harbor Freight. If you're in the Philippines, go to Ace Hardware or Lazada or Shopee. You can pick these up, okay? And what you want to do is you want to take your cap and you want to take your brass brush and you want to go along the edges. Go along the edges and get rid of any kind of dirt or any kind of shit that's on the, that gets on it. Same with inside the mod. You go inside these threads and get these mods, get these threads really clean. You want to use brass and not not a stainless steel brush. Reason being, brass is soft. Stainless steel is hard. You'll muck it up if you use a stainless steel brush or if you use any other kind of metal brush. So get a brass brush. Okay, you guys? So I'm going to put my battery back in. Remember, battery safety. Make sure your batteries have good wraps and you're using good batteries. Battery Mooch on YouTube. Watch him. Look at that. I've had no issues with this mod at all. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to do a cloud check for you guys. And then we'll go from there. My pros. You gotta, I got a big pro list for this mother. The price. The price. The price. Top three reasons. The price. Handmade. Hand feel. How it feels in your hand is really good. It is very comfortable. Feels good. You can fire with your thumb. You can trigger fire it. However you are comfortable with. The performance and the build quality is very good. 
and for what you're paying, I cannot believe what you're what I'm holding in my hand. Small batches. These are made in small batches. These are practically he makes only a handful at a time. All right? These guys it is not mass produced. This is not GM. Personalization. You can have anything put on here. If you have a vape shop or if you got a favorite football team or if you want to put your name or your wife's name or your dog's name, your dead dog's name, who knows? All right? You can do anything you'd like. Tear down. This is one of the easiest mods I've ever come across to tear down and to take apart. It's a little bit tricky getting these M4 screws back in threading, but just take your time. Don't force them. The the screws are stronger than the brass, so you want to be very careful and very slow tightening these set screws. Okay? Make sure they're in the hole and they're threading. If you feel any resistance, back the hell off and start over. Uh, nothing else, man. This is one strong mod. This is one strong, good-looking mod. And for the price that you're paying, you can't go wrong. Okay? So, everybody, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I apologize for taking so long for doing reviews. I've got some more re mods coming up for review. And I will get to it. And I am back. And I am strong. I am basically, I am, I am about 90%. I'm almost there, you guys. So, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. I'm going to go outside and we'll continue this review. All right? See you. Hey, everyone. I'm back. As I forgot a couple things I forgot to mention. This mod is also available in 18650 and 21700. So you can either pick either or. It comes in matte black, red, dark blue, or gray. Beautiful Manila Bay. A little cloudy out right now, but this is beautiful Manila Bay. Very good sight here. So let's get on with the cloud. She does not disappoint. This thing fires every time you push the button and it produces a rich, rich cloud. And this is only one coil. Still using Cholo's blend. Give it a couple drops. I'm telling you, you guys will not be disappointed with this. This is the best $60 I've ever spent in my life. You guys take care be safe thank you for watching my video and until the next one i'm going to give you some pictures of manila of the philippines that there is malate and there is the bay star city mall of asia beautiful thank you guys take care god bless